and the starting lineups have concluded. So just sit right back and relax. We'll be back in just a moment. Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Tonight, we'll see the Brooklyn Nets as they play against the Denver Nuggets. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brent Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. And it's Porter in at the small forward. And for Brooklyn, we've got Johnson. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Nicholas Claxton. Then it's Mikel Bridges. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point. You know, in the early stages of the season, Brent, what's something the front office is looking for in regards to their team? Well, I think it's all the strategy and time that went into building this roster if those things are starting to show themselves. Even small flashes of indications that the team is growing together and has the capability of getting where you want them to go. Bridges outside. For the three. Then when he shot is off. Here's Denver now. Murray surveying the D. Pass to Porter. Jokic trying to free himself up. Another shot. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Murray against Dinwiddie. And he drives in, and he uses the glass on the layup. Dinwiddie's got his team on the board to start the game for the Nets. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And for the last several years, Brent, the Nuggets have been a top-passing team in the NBA. Now, such a huge part of their success. They're an unselfish team. It's so hard to defend guys who are not only willing to move, but willing to give up the ball to guys on the move. And that's what they do. Such a cohesive unit here for the Denver Nuggets. And that one, good. How about that shot? Not exactly something drawn up by the coaching staff. Caldwell Pope outside. For three, Murray. Second shot opportunity. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jokic doing a better job there of using his body inside and getting the angle. Then finds his way to the line. When he's not dominating this sport, we know that Jokic spends time with his other one. And you're talking about horse racing, specifically harness racing. Jokic, that is the sport he loves the most. So it's right up there with basketball, amazingly enough. First one falls for him. And with Jokic now a finals MVP and an NBA champion, Greg, he's already an all-time great. And could go down as one of the greatest players ever. He started to pile up the hardware and the wars. Amazing what he could accomplish the next few years. And Jokic drops them both. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Passes to Finney Smith. Can't hit that one. Gordon with the defensive effort. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against the Clippers in L.A. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Great timing, but Aaron Gordon's going to make any lob look good. Dinwiddie against Murray. We've got 148 left to play in the first quarter. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Jokic kicks to Murray. Gordon with it. Working on Finney Smith. And it's Gordon missing. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. 
Here's Caldwell Pope, the rim rattling two handed jam. That's the way to finish KCP with a show of force at the rim. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. And in that one, the backups came to play, gave the team an infusion of points that just put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that one. Now to take a look at some numbers for Jokic. One nineteen left here in the first quarter. To the paint, here's Smith. Drops in the layup for two. That's a pretty gritty play there by Dennis Smith Jr. Denver leading by three. Pass to Brown. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Outside, Walker pulls up. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. They're getting their first look of the season at the Nets in this one. And really, this is a team that expects to beat everyone when they step on the floor, but they were only able to split the series last year. And they don't want a repeat of what happened last year here. They know this is an opponent they can handle. And they don't want to give away anything like they did last year. Lock at two. There's Jackson with the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Well, he's a confident guy, and he's got a solid three-point shot. So Jackson rises and fires. Walker surveying the floor. There's the three, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the Denver Nuggets holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Back to the action in just a minute. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. What do you guys think about the Nuggets out here in this one? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Some teams cutting back on practices to limit the load on players. And Brent, some say it creates the opposite effect. Players not conditioned to the level they need to be. And you wonder in the next couple years, Kevin, if some of the coaches, just depending on the life cycle of their team, with a team being young as opposed to a team being veteran, that coaches are going to find creative ways to get more practice time in. We know practice time is where teams improve the most. On the floor for Denver as we get going here in the second quarter. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. The small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. It's Naji in at the five. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Kevin, thank you. Nikola Jokic amazes teammates with his vision. Aaron Gordon says he's a basketball genius. He plays it like chess, seeing it three steps ahead. You've always got to keep your eye on him when he has the ball because he'll find you. Even if you don't think you're open, you're open. He's a point guard, just in a center's body. Kevin? <laughs> that is very true. David, thanks. 
and Denver has possession after the basket by Brooklyn. Murray outside. No good there off the double clutch. Well, that mid-range Jay usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Count it, and the Nugget lead has been cut down to four on the bucket from Dinwiddie. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Outside Porter. It's hauled in by Claxton. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. And it's Porter with the ball for Denver. They lead by four. Following this one, they get to host the Rockets. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Murray against Dinwiddie. It's blocked. There's a minute 40 left in the second quarter. It's rebounded by Jamal Murray. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Now Dinwiddie following the miss by Michael Porter from deep. Here's Bridges. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. I don't know what's happening defensively but they're not putting up any resistance. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Nuggets. And guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. Well, I want to What's add up? also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. One nineteen left now here in the second. The pass to Jackson. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. The Nets making a switch here. Smith has checked in. Brooklyn trailing. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Deflects the pass. Jokic with the steal. Pass to Strother. Pass to Jokic. Jokic doing the job inside. Size and touch of Jokic just too much. Finishing with power and finesse. Outside, Walker. Knocked away. Pass to Finney Smith from downtown. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Strother. Dinwiddie covering. It's blocked. And that'll be Denver as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets retain possession. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the half. Six on the shot clock. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Here's Jokic. Over the defense. Jokic, total focus. That was amazing. Yeah, nice. Jokic just stepped up, had some poise there. The shot was under pressure, but I don't think he felt it. Here's Dinwiddie, and it's sent back by Jokic. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. With one on the clock, that one doesn't go. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Denver on top, leading by five. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do. 
uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Denver had no problems getting going. They were able to stretch out their lead to eight points on the heels of a few stops and some quality offensive possessions. They were executing the game plan well, and after a few early lead changes, they never let down their attack and were still clearly in control as the period winded down. Going through the second quarter, they started to look a bit fatigued, but played well enough to enjoy a five-point cushion here at the half. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets' first half. They came out as the more physical team. You could tell they put an emphasis on winning the battle of the boards. All of these bodies crashing the glass has given them a physical and a middle edge, Jody. And over to Shaq. What do you think about Brooklyn? Well, their reserves haven't contributed much. It's fine to ask your starters to do the heavy lifting, but don't leave them out in the cold. I think this could easily become a bigger issue as the game goes on. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Here's Murray. No scoring in this one. They've got Dorian Finney-Smith. He's out there with Nicholas Claxton. Mikel Bridges out there with Johnson. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard. That's the group for Jacques Vaughn getting going here in the second half. Nets trail by seven. Well, when Aaron Gordon keeps it simple, he is a force Brent out on the floor. And he's learned that's when he's at his best. Earlier in his career, he could try and do everything on the floor and sometimes get himself into trouble. Now it's about not forcing anything and letting the game come to him. An emphatic LU jam. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Now, here's Jokic. He has six. Here's Murray. Kicks it out to Gordon. But three. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Gordon's got the lead up to eight now for the Nuggets. And the defense having no time to get to Aaron Gordon. Automatic. On the pass to Johnson. Over Porter. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Now here's Caldwell Pope. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touch by Caldwell Pope. And a moment here to see the numbers for Nikola Jokic. He's putting up 29 points a game, 13 rebounds, and nine assists. And so much of what they do on offense depends on how he plays. Well, he attracts serious attention from the defense, and that really does open up the backside for a lot of his teammates to take full advantage. Bridges against Caldwell Pope. Now, Dinwiddie down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Well, he passes to the wide open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, some people play with a chip on their shoulder, feeling they don't get enough recognition. I can tell you that's not Nikola Jokic. Nuggets coach Michael Malone said he's not going to bed at night wondering why no one's talking about him. He doesn't care. He's reading his books on horses. We're winning games, and he's happy. If he's happy, I'm happy. Kevin, I'm happy, too. You're, you've always been happy, D.A. Hey, thanks. That was good stuff. Appreciate the report. This is his second trip to the line in this one. 
And what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line. And that one falls for Bridges. Mikel Bridges is one of those guys who maybe is a jack of all trades and master of nothing, willing to do whatever it takes to help the team win. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Watson, he's checked in for Jokic. Christian Brown comes in for Michael Porter. And it's Jackson in for Caldwell Pope. All three throws good from Bridges. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Watson. Still without a basket. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. An opportunity here to bring up a list of players that have been carrying their teams offensively for the last 10 games. The highest scoring small forwards in the league. Mikel Bridges third. A lot of the NBA's most explosive players man that small forward position and you're looking at a pretty good collection of them right there. I don't think in terms of offense there can be any more potent group of players in the league having one of them on the wing means having someone that can carry a team offensively for extended periods of time whenever necessary. Here's Clowney the way up off target. The Nuggets leading by six. Pass to Murray and out of bounds is Brooklyn gains possession. And let's see what Denver has coming up on Wednesday. They'll be taking on Victor Oladipo and the Houston Rockets. Then on Friday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Phoenix Suns. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Some solid defense there from Jackson. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Six-point game. We're playing host to Toronto for the next one. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Smith against Murray. Pass to Watson. Launches a three. It's rebounded by O'Neal. Smith surveying the D. Passes it to Walker. Puts up a three. No good. And we've watched three so far in this one. Nuggets lead by four. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up. And that cut was wide open. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. So on the floor for Denver. Inside form, it'll be Porter and Jokic. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. And it's Brown in at the three. On the wing, Johnson. Here's the pass to Claxton. 
Clock at four. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. And here's Walker outside. And they've got to get back to what they were doing in that first half. If they want to somehow win this game, the offense has gone stagnant. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Nimbleness gets Caldwell Pope to his shot, getting around the contact. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Dinwiddie passes to Finney Smith. Nets passing it around. Lets it go with the three. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Walker. Johnson surveying the floor. On its way from Dinwiddie for two. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Now, here's Jokic. Pass to Porter. Murray with it. Now, here's Jokic. And the three off target. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Johnson, the pass to Claxton. Dinwiddie against Murray. Outside, Walker. Pass to Finney Smith. And the Nets miss again. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. Passes it to Jokic. Jokic makes it look easy inside. You just wonder where Jamal Murray is going to go. This guy is a terrific combo guard. Murray against Kinwood. He lobs it up. Denver calls timeout. They're in front by six. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Now, let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots, and, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he has. Mikael Bridges checked in for Walker. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest, David. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. Now, he kept it simple in the huddle. He said, play smart. If we don't beat ourselves, we walk away with the win. Keep it simple, and we got this. Back to you, guys. Thank you, David. Johnson for three. That one falls coming up Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got four assists in the game. Dinwiddie against Murray to the inside. The eight-footer, and it's Jokic missing. Nets trail by five. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Denver. Wide open look here for Murray. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Murray's got the lead up to eight now for the Nuggets. 
Well, when he's feeling it, Jamal Murray is going to find some way to get to that range and knock it down. Here's Dinwiddie. Another one falls for Brooklyn. 52 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Murray against Dinwiddie. Here's Jokic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Jokic doing a better job as the years have gone on, just drawing more contact and getting to the line. And that's a good thing. He's an over 80% shooter there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Well, it's so hard to try to defend Joker. You never know what it is that he's going to do. And because of that great vision, he's got great counter. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. They're behind by eight. 43 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Bridges. Here's Claxton. And the layup falls. Yeah, and that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. That one drops for him. Give them credit. They've worked hard all game now looking to finish it. No, a great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Kept alive. Claxton. And that one is stuck right through. That's what he gives you. A big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Shooting two. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And Jamal Murray more and more has come into his own as a player capable of shouldering the offensive load and being a leader for his team at times. And so both free throws are good. And it's an eight-point game. Timeout called the Nets. They trail by eight. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? And a little late to implement a plan B. This game is a wrap. Well, I'm going to use the cliche here. You can't take your timeouts with you, so they're going to use it.
20 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Murray with the defensive effort. So the Nuggets win it. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks, Kevin. Nicola, coach has talked about the growth of your leadership. What's gotten you to be more vocal? I just want to help my teammates. I think if I say something, they're going to listen to me. I just want to make them better, so I'm just going to do that. Well, it sounds like they're listening, man. I appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.